In JavaScript, we can define our functions in two ways. The first way is to define them using function keyword. We have walked through this in the previous video, but actually there is a more concise and straightforward way to create our functions in JavaScript, and that's by using arrow functions. Let's take a closer look. The first thing that we should know about arrow functions is that they are the type of anonymous functions. So let's see what is an anonymous function. What do we mean by that? Well, when our function does not have a name, then that is anonymous function. For example, you can see here we have uh, a standard function. This is a regular function. So its name is at numbers. It takes two parameters and it returns the uh, addition of these two numbers. Now you can see here that the name of this function is at numbers and if we remove this name now this function is anonymous function which means that it doesn't have a name so how are we supposed to call this function now well we can't actually uh, because it doesn't have a name so how do we call this function now in this situation when we have uh, anonymous function we can actually assign this to a variable for example let's call this add. So now we can see we have a variable named add and we store the whole function in this variable. Now we assign this whole function in this variable. And now by doing this we can actually call this function by calling this variable name. This variable now stores a function so it is callable now. For example let's uh, define a variable result equals add as you can see, this function is going to take two parameters. So let's give it two numbers, something like this. And now if we console.log the result, and if we see our result, as you can see, it is 99. Now it works. We can call this function by calling this variable name. So this is anonymous function. When our function doesn't have a name, then that is anonymous function. Why did we say all of this? Uh, why did I talk uh, about anonymous functions? Well, that's because arrow functions are anonymous functions. We can't give a name for our arrow function. So in standard functions, you could see that we can give a name for our function uh, instead of uh, storing it in a variable. But in arrow functions, we can't give a name for our uh, arrow function. So now let's turn this regular function into arrow function. Now let's see the syntax of writing uh, arrow functions. Well, the syntax is uh, a little different. First, we have this uh, parenthesis. Then uh, this symbol, this is for defining arrow function. This is actually like a function keyword. As you can see here, uh, in the first method, we have function keyword and we define our functions by using function keyword. And in arrow functions, we have this symbol. This is just the same like a function keyword. Then we have our function body. So here we can put our code that we want to execute. Now this first parenthesis, it is used for uh, passing parameters. As you can see in here in this function, it takes two parameters. So if we want to take two parameters in our arrow function, we can simply uh, do the same thing here. So number one and number two. Now this function takes two parameters. And here in the body of our function, we can return. We can do pretty the same thing. So number one plus number two. And we, now we can uh, assign this arrow function to a variable. So const add two equals this. And now if we uh, call this add two here, let's change these numbers like this. And if we see, as you can see now, it works. So this arrow function and this function, actually, they do the same thing. But here is the arrow syntax and here is the regular and a standard syntax of creating and defining functions. But well, we can actually shorten this code inside our uh, arrow function. Uh, first, we don't need this curly braces when we have a single statement. We have only a return statement here, as you can see. And if we remove these curly braces, 
now we should remove this return keyword as well so you can see now we have shortened this uh, code a little bit now this function takes two parameters and it immediately returns this number one plus number two remember that when we uh, when we don't use curly braces then uh, we should not use a return statement and after this symbol anything that we put here it will be returned so as long as there is no parentheses actually there is no curly braces sorry so if we don't use curly braces we can't use a return statement so this thing which is after this symbol it is a part of return the statement so it immediately returns this thing that we put here and if we use curly braces then we should return we should use return keyword and we should explicitly return anything that we want if we don't use curly braces then this is the return statement and if we change these numbers now just to check it out so let's make it a huge number as you can see our output is different even we can make this function these error functions more concise and shorter for example let's see another example here we have a function its name is double number it takes one single parameter and it returns the number times two so it double, doubles the number and it returns that so now let's change this function into error function first we should change this uh, variable name it doesn't matter actually but let's change it for example let's uh, name it double and now it takes uh, one single number so let's remove this number two and let's make a number and let's clear this so here we should have this function body and since we know that we want to return the number times two so we don't actually need to use this uh, curly braces uh, for example uh, let's remove this we want the number times two so we want it to be returned now this function double it takes uh, one parameter it doubles the number and it returns that remember everything that we put here after this symbol uh, it will be returned if we use curly braces i want to repeat this for example uh, if we had this curly braces this is not going to be returned like this so we should uh, manually write return and it will be returned if we don't use these curly braces most of the times we are not going to use curly braces actually but if we use so we should return manually otherwise this number multiplied by two it will be returned so now the thing is that if we have a single parameter actually we can even uh, shorten this uh, function we can remove this parentheses look at this now it is way more concise this is a function so this is a variable actually it stores a function so let's say this is a function uh, it takes one single parameter and it returns the double version of that number or that parameter whatever we pass here so now let's uh, have our result uh, let's call double and let's give it a value like 50 and now if we see our result you can see it is 100 so if we make it 20 it will be 40 all right so you can see that this way is it is very very concise and it is more readable if we compare it to this function you can see it is way more concise and readable and now let's see another example so re let's remove this function and let's see this function so you can see here we have a function its name is say hi and its job is just to print hey developers so just console.logs uh, hey developers now let's change this function into error function well first let's have our variable let's uh, say hi to this is the name of our variable well you can see here this function it actually doesn't take any parameter so in this case when we are working with uh, error syntax in this case we should have our uh, parentheses then our uh, this symbol error symbol and then our function body remember to put this parenthesis it is required if we don't put this for example if we write it this way so this is wrong uh, it, it won't work so we should have our parenthesis when there is no parameter if there is uh, one parameter 
we can skip this parenthesis we can uh, for example uh, have our parameter here if we have two or three or even more parameters so we can uh, separate them by comma and these are all our parameters but if there is no parameters uh, we should have our empty parentheses so you can see this function it just prints uh, hey developers so we know that we don't need this curly braces anymore we can simply console the log uh, this message let's have a different message hey from arrow <laughs> anyways so if we now uh, change this to say hi say hi too actually and since it's not going to take any parameter we can leave it empty and now if we check you can see here uh, hey from arrow and one last thing that I want to repeat here it is using these curly braces remember that when you use curly braces here uh, then you should have a return keyword you should use return keyword in order to return something you might have a um, complex calculation here for example you have your stuff here then you should return something if you don't return then this function is not going to return anything and if you don't use this curly braces then it is simple whatever you put here it will be returned this is one thing that you should keep in mind all right guys this was all about arrow functions in javascript how you can define them how you can use them we saw different types and different situations that you might face using arrow functions i really hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you if it was please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you want to see more videos just like this one then make sure to hit the subscribe button thank you for watching and have a nice time